from New York, The Les Crane Show. With Sammy Davis, New Magazine's Choices Entertainer of the Year, Barbara Streisand, Diane Carroll, Judy Garland, Steve Lawrence, Georgia Brown, Tom Poston, Malik Van Buren, and Eartha Kitt. Now, here's the star of the show, Les Crane. That's a big one. Big one. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take an electronic jump now. We're going to take an electronic jump backwards in time to uh, about 2 o'clock in the morning last night and to the Gotham Hotel here in New York where on stage stands Mr. Emery Lewis, the editor of New York's entertainment guide, Q Magazine. Our first award winner in 1961 was Miss Diane Carroll. In 1962, Mr. Zero Mostel. Last year, in 1963, was a young lady who won for her <clears throat> nightclub work, for her theater work, and for her phenomenal success on records. After the award was given her, a few months later, she made Broadway history by giving an electric performance in Funny Girl, in which show, of course, she's still a star. I now introduce to you the extraordinary Miss Barbara Streisand. You were at the theater tonight, right? I heard that laugh. Um, as we all know, <laughs> there is a, an old proverb that says, it is better to give than to receive. Can you hear me? No. Turn up this bloody thing. <laughs> and, uh, is it really? <laughs> I'll stand here. Uh, last year, it's hot. Uh, last year, it was my pleasure to, to receive, and this year, I must give, and I must tell you, it is better to receive. <laughs> no, kidding aside, kidding aside, kidding aside, I must say that uh, I know two years ago, Mr. Zero Mostel, the fan fantastic Zero Mostel, won this award. And uh, last year, I was fortunate to win it. And this year, one of the greatest entertainers in the world is going to win it. And uh, there's another proverb, coincidentally, that says things go in threes. So for the owners of Q Magazine, next year, a Gentile is going to get it. <laughs> kidding aside, I don't expect a joke because it'll really be a whole letdown, that, uh, that um, this is really a thrill for me because if you believe this or not, I don't know whether you believe it or not, I haven't told you yet so you'll make up your mind. Uh, many years ago, it seems like that to me, I mean I was this little kid and I really liked watching television and uh, that was the great thrill, watching television and I saw Sammy on, you know, with his father and his uncle doing his stuff and uh, I really couldn't believe it I mean he was so fantastic and I could never find out his name this is true Sammy really and uh, finally I used to watch when that you know watch for this little guy to come on and uh, finally <laughs> no, no really well you can't have everything I mean 
<laughs> but, but finally, I finally saw him on the show, and they said the Will Masson Trio, and I would always watch in the thing in the papers to uh, to get uh, to find out when he would be on. And then uh, I never used to buy records, and I finally bought his record, his little one because of you, and it was really terrific. I mean, I used to play this record, and I couldn't believe how it did all this thing. And uh, it's, that's why it's such a thrill for me to uh, present him this award. So I must uh, now, at this point, present, <laughs> <laughs> present this fantastic, great, I don't know what else to say about him. I mean, that seems to sum it up. No, not even that. This unbelievable talent this award, and as I'd like to say, a Gesundheit dein Kopf. This is a, this is a, a, a marvelous, marvelous evening to me. I did not ever expect to even uh, ever, I, I, I really mean it. I'm sort of uh, hung, you know, because I, I knew it only about a week ago. Everybody else around me knew it. I never knew it.